This is Boxing Tickets and I in association with SP Sports. We're here at the final press conference for McCrory Woodall. Doesn't that sound great, Potty? You're finally getting the, the obviously headline. I know we've obviously spoke when the fight was made, but how have you felt the last few weeks obviously knowing that you're headlining the Falls Park? Yeah, it's been it's been a very special feeling. Um even seeing like the other guys getting announced and like my name like 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 still being on the poster, it's 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 fun. It's it's probably cheerless, but it's fun and, and and I've enjoyed, like I've enjoyed the build-up. I've enjoyed the buzz and the feeling around like my local community. So it's it's been good. And obviously, not only are you a, a boxer, obviously a PT and everything else. Now you're now into the boxing management. Obviously, you just obviously announced your first signing, and Jared Hughes is obviously appearing on the card as well. I know you're not sort of looking past the stage of obviously professional boxing yet, but but it'd be good for obviously now for you to build a portfolio of fighters obviously you've been there you know six years now as a pro you've been there you've done it all you've been knocking people out left right and center you're now and certainly look for you you implementing obviously a plan for other people to get them to the stage where you're at yeah i've, I've been working like closely like with your like for a few months now i i, I got him a slot on the galway show which fell through unfortunately and we also had maybe a fight a range for him um Evolves well on Friday night, so it's 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 been exciting. But my main focus is on like my own career management is secondary, and that's why I, I haven't been proactively looking for others. Um, so my, my like my main focus is is on is on my own career. But boxing is a sport I love, and I want to stay involved in it. There, there's not sort of really been a lot of talk of obviously of your opponent Steve Woodall obviously in the build up to the fight. Obviously nobody's obviously this. This continuing, obviously, he's not coming here to stay sort of be be in the opposite corner. He's obviously a very dangerous fighter. He spent a lot of time in America. He's obviously had a couple of years out after breaking his leg. What sort of mentality do you have going into the fight? Obviously, on Friday night, obviously you've that added pressure. Of obviously, headlining the card. Do you all sort of go and be? I know you've always liked to have the underdog mentality, where you sort of put yourself not as a favourite, so you don't get too confident. How are you obviously mentally feeling going into Friday night? Yeah, I think. People's probably looking over Woodall a bit. Um, if you look at his, his like his like his career, he, he he's a good fighter. He he, uh, he was a really good amateur. He went to America. He built a bit of a career, and he got beat by a guy who's a gatekeeper till like the world guy. So he's he, he's going to be a challenge. Um, he's coming here f- for the confidence. He's he's coming here to cause an upset. Um, so I haven't overlooked him. I travelled to London for sparring. I travelled, I travelled like the Dublin for sparring. I've got some great sparring, uh, and I think that shows that that I'm not overlooking this guy. Obviously, the last couple of fights you've obviously had in, uh, issues with your hands. Obviously, you haven't been 100. Is it? Is obviously you're, you're making sure the hands are 100 percent for Friday night. I know you want to put on a, a performance for the crowd. You obviously haven't felt your last couple of performances have been great. I've obviously challenged you on them to say that they're actually you're still unbeaten and everything else. So. Do you obviously, I know you want to put on a performance for the fans, but you're obviously not going to just go out looking for a stoppage, but if it comes, then obviously you'll be happy to take away both hands? Oh, i, I got to go out and i got to box smart. As I say, Woodall's a, he's a good fighter, and if I go out and I'm reckless, he's going he's gonna to find, he, he'll find holes. Um, so i got to be smart, but I know what my attributes are, and, 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 and that's and my, my main attribute is knocking people out. Um, so... I'm going to take my time. I, I, we we have a game plan. We have an approach. We have four different styles of fighters: Buns and Gorkovs and 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 like the Mickey Allisons and stuff. So I think I can adapt. I think I can change tactics if I need to. But but we're fully ready. Obviously, it's going to be special as well. Obviously, you asked for 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 obviously the music you wanted. Obviously, you wanted Ryan. To obviously, to walk you out. You obviously wanted to make something memorable. Obviously, I know Tasha and obviously the kids and stuff's going to be there as well. Are you starting to obviously picture the walkout? Obviously, on Friday night now, are you are you trying to keep the nerves tight in? Obviously, until it's ready to, to sort of put the gloves on. Yeah, at the minute it's just about making weight and 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 uh, working on my tactics. But I know it's going to be special. I jokingly tweeted about about getting like walked out and the feel and Colin boxing. They they kind of they jumped on it and now we have. Ryan with Mullen come the belt or they come in the Falls Park to sing me out and I think it's going to be like one of them sort of special moments in my career. 
obviously your two previous appearances at the Falls Park, obviously Steve Collins, your memorable one where you'd done the helicopter for about three weeks afterwards. Um, you have two stoppages obviously in Falls Park. You obviously want to keep that 100% record going, but I guess when you start, you don't want to look too far ahead. Obviously I know people will start obviously asking what's next and everything else. That comes obviously after Friday, obviously if you, if you look good and obviously doing so. Is it, is it for you about obviously looking good on Friday, obviously with you not feeling you, you were 100% at your last couple of fights? Do you want to look good in the winning Saturday and Friday night so you can get the bigger fights that you want? Ideally, I want to go out and I want to put on my, my best performance. But realistically, the most important thing is to keep winning. Um, I hope I hope I show up in the night. I pref- I've like prepared very well for this and I'm expecting to be the best version of myself. Um, but but the main thing is to get the win and to keep and to keep the ball rolling. At 35, there's there isn't much room for like like step ups. And um, if I want to get to the people that I want to fight, I gotta win. Obviously, the final one, obviously for the fans. Obviously, they, they they've came and they've obviously supported you throughout your journey. Obviously, from having to sell tickets to get on cards at the start of shows, they now they're all coming to see you on Friday night. You, you obviously, does it still feel like a dream? You just haven't woken up from. I know when we spoke, you were sort of going you'd known about it happening. Like, that's a surreal moment when you walk out and everybody's singing your name on Friday night. It's probably, it's, it's fair to say, pending the result, obviously on Friday night it's going to be the, the most memorable moment of your career to date. Yeah, listen, it's, it's been building, it's been, it's been a good journey, it's been six and a half years, and I don't like to call people fans, so I, I call them friends, family, and extended friends and family, um, and it's grew and grew and grew. And I don't think I'll be able like, to visualise it or even feel what it feels like until I'm there and it's something that's going to stay with me for the rest of my life but at the end of the day i got to get in the ring and i got to fight so i got to be ready for that and and I I do like a lot of things like, I, like outside of boxing to be like mentally they prepare like, for stuff like this and and i got to live in the moment as I say like I'm 35 again i got to live in the moment i got to take these in i get I gotta soak it all up. Experiences like this don't happen for 90% of the boxers, so I'm gonna take it all in. Wilson, thanks very much for your time. We'll catch up with you obviously on Friday night when you obviously extend that unbeaten record. Um, I'm sure obviously it will probably need about two hours after to let you calm down beforehand, but thanks as always for your time, and we'll catch up with you after Friday night. And still. And still.